Welcome, dear friends, to this reflection on the Eucharist. I'd like to focus on the Eucharist as sacrificial memorial of Christ and his body, the Church. In the Eucharist, we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The Catechism of the Catholic Church 1409 states, the Eucharist is the memorial of Christ's Passover, that is, of the work of salvation accomplished by the life, death, and resurrection of Christ, a work made present by the liturgical action. Jesus commanded us to do this in his memory. Memory, memorial, and amnesis, a reality often difficult to conceive and to put into action. But the liturgy offers us a way to understand this. At Mass, we celebrate the memorial of Christ's death and resurrection, because Jesus commanded us to do this in his memory. St. Luke in his Gospel and St. Paul in his first letter to the Corinthians relate to us what Jesus commanded us to do. Do this in memory of me. These words were given during the institution of the Eucharist. St. Paul expanded on this notion of memorial in his text. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes again. These are the same words we use when we respond after the priest has said the mystery of faith and the faithful join in. What we therefore celebrate is not just a simple souvenir, a simple memory. Remembrance is an action already present in the Old Testament. In the book of Exodus, when God revealed himself in the burning bush, God says to Moses, This is my name forever. And this is the name for all generations to use to call upon me. Jesus takes up the same expression when instituting the Eucharist to do this in his memory. To remember is therefore an act of worship inscribed in time, referring to a past event which is realized now, but we await the full accomplishment of this event in the future. It is not a simple memory that is recalled like an historical event. What the Jews celebrate at Passover is exactly the same notion that we as Catholics celebrate in the Eucharist. The word remembrance is not understood as merely recalling a past event. Therefore, the effect of freedom the first Israelites experienced is the same forgiveness that the Jews receive during each and every celebration of the Passover. For us, it is the same salvation that the disciples experienced through the death and resurrection of Jesus, which is made present for us in each and every Mass. We make present and real what Christ did for us on the cross. In the anamnesis, the mystery of faith, the faithful join the priest in making present and real what Christ did. The Eucharist becomes a bridge between the heavenly liturgy and the earthly liturgy. We become united in the entire mystical body of Christ. We affirm our identity as sons and daughters of the Father and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. As the song goes, we remember how you loved us to death and still we celebrate for you are with us here. And we believe that we shall be with you when you come in glory, Lord. We remember. It is therefore remembering the Paschal mystery and to offer to the Father the body and blood of Christ, as the words of the priest indicate. Therefore, O Lord, we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and glorious ascension into heaven. Do this in memory of me. By these words said by the priest at the moment of consecration, words and actions of Christ, Christ's own sacrifices accomplished in the person of the priest. Therefore, let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of the Eucharist. We thank you that every time we celebrate the Eucharist, we are not merely recalling a past event, 
but we are taking part in that event that was made real on the cross. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.